What's up, YouTube? It's JG there, and I'm back with another review. This time I have Unique Toys 0003 uh, Fenrir, I think that's how you say it, part of their Odin combiner, which is a homage to G1 Abominus. And um, the Fenrir guy, he's a um, homage to Center Twin. So, yeah, here is the box. Nice artwork of Fenrir right there, Center Twin. Top got the same artwork. On the back, you got product shots of the Beast Mode, what the Beast Mode can do. You can equip with weapons and combine mode and the robot right there. Uh, product shot right down the side. Get your warnings on the bottom. And that's it for the box. And off it goes to the Phantom And here's zone. our figure right here. He is nice and yellow and a, uh, I guess teal color. Yeah, nice looking figure. Um, pretty simple and basic. And you know, I'll get the transformation. You'll see for yourself how um, how simple this transformation has gone. And as I said in my um, last review of um, Ripper Snapper, that the quality, the, the engineering on these figures has gotten more simple as they go along. I'm not sure they're gonna pick it back up with when they do their hunger and um, cutthroat, but we'll see. <clears throat> so it comes, yeah, the figure comes in the box. Also, with the figure, also comes. The combiner foot, similar to blots, uh, do the same thing. These two side pieces do separate off and become guns for the figure. And it's the only guns that come with him, and it's hard to get off. But yeah, you still an idea. I'll show y'all later on that. And he comes with two melee weapons, which also transform or also attach to his beast mode to become his tail. So the third party collector card. The same artwork from the box, and you got his tech specs right there in the back. And it comes with an instruction sheet. Transform to the foot of the combiner. So yeah. And let's get into the uh, the figure itself. Take that head sculpt. Looks very very nice. Um, does it have that much personality to the face? It has a um, just a plain face, just like Ripper never did. I uh, put the branding on myself, but yeah, nice detail. Got some some okay paint apps, the purple and the silver right there, gray and silver right there. And got his heads on the back, and a little bit of engineering that on these kind of remind me of the um. <clears throat> That's my creations on um, Feral Cons. So yeah. Nice detail, pretty basic. Not that much to it. And for articulation, his head is on a limited ball joint. You can look up, up a little bit, look down, uh, left and right. Go all the way around if you want, exorcist. A uh, little side to side motion too. Goes out at the shoulders about that much. So let's do rotate around 360. Rotates up the bicep. Has a double jointed elbow. Like all of them seem to have double jointed elbows. Uh, wrist rotation. Uh, yes, he does have rotation in his wrist. Rotates at the waist proper. Goes out at the foot on a soft um, ratchet. Goes out about that much. Goes back down, comes out like that. To the side goes back that much, which is fine. Uh, bends at the knee, pretty much get a more than 90 degree knee bend. Rotates at the knee, right there, and he has a ankle pivot and toe goes down due to transformation. So yeah, good articulation on this guy. Pretty much, pretty basic articulation. Nothing real spectacular. It also has um, a kind of like a butterfly outward joint due to the transformation to the combined leg bow. So you can go out at the shoulder like that. You want to give him some kind of flying pose like that, attacking, diving, attacking with his melee weapons in his hand. Yeah. And speaking of melee weapons, they are, they transform to his tail and they may have a uh, soft rubber plastic and they just uh, peg right into his hand. Like that. You get two of them. Double hooks of death. 
And you just split <clears throat> these damn things off with a tight. This is a good thing. Mm. This one's tighter than the other one. And open, open. Brian, you said this was like our darkest hour. Ah, there we go. Then, <clears throat> there you got guns. They flip out like they don't block, same thing. And they just, you can pick them to the shoulders. Got pig holes right here. On the shoulders, do it like so. Or you can just take them off and you can use them as handguns if you so choose. Like that. And transform them. They pretty much compress that for this back and you just plug it back into the, the foot. And this is the same thing as with blot. This opens up. Got missiles right there, and you can bend it down like so. It has two little pegs that flip up if you want them. So you can have options on where you want to peg it in at. You can peg it to the shoulder if you want, right? Like so. Out shoulder rocket launchers or a shield. But I don't know why you won't have a shield because it might hit the rockets and you'll blow your arm off. And on the back, there's literally no options to put it on the back anywhere. So, or you can just put it in his hand. It's up to you. you can flip this one out, and you can have him hold it, but it kind of droops. But yeah, it's up to you what you want to do with that. I just leave it off to the side. Whatnot. So let's strip them down a little bit. Now we got size um, articulation out the way. Let's get to some size comparisons yes. with Hegatron Megatron, Classics Prime, Generations Warpath, and here he is with his teammates. And they're just about all the same size. I think Troll Blot is about taller than all of them. All three of them okay, so far. Okay, yeah, the size comparison looks real good. I am very, very, very happy with the sizes of these combiners. And Mahoney! Uh, yeah, please can me reference. But yeah, um, happy with the sizes of all these guys. And let's go ahead and get the transformation so, to beast mode. So, take that down. First, you're going, to, you're going to do, you're going to get focused. Then you're going to flip this down. Put this panel back in. And get, tuck the head in. Like that, so bam. Next, what you're gonna do, bring his arms forward, lift these panels up on his forearms, and you're gonna rotate his hands in. We're just gonna rotate this beast hand from the back of his forearm forward. Next, close the panel. Position now. the claw, done. Same thing, other side. Up, camera up. There you go. That's forward, bring it down. So, all right, done. Next, we're gonna do lift these up out the way, or you could just um, you could just go ahead and rotate them up. Just bring these up like so, and then rotate them around, facing the correct position. Done with that. Next, rotate the lower half of his body around, and we're going down through the legs. So, go ahead and flip the feet in first. Feet in first. Then you do the heel spurs, heel spurs in, heel spurs in. Next, you're gonna grab the this panel right here. You're gonna bring this up. It's gonna come up like so. Next, what you're gonna do is you're gonna untap this gray piece of the knee from the yellow part. So untap it. You tap right there, and you're gonna bring it down. It's gonna coil you down in this joint right here. Black one in there. So bring it down. So, now you should be lined up this yellow part and this black piece right here. So you're gonna rotate this on a double hinge, the leg. It's gonna tab in, peg right there, hold, like so. Next, you want to unfold the leg. So bring up the claw, bring out the leg. It's gonna rotate around, down, and flip the claw like that like so and this hollow piece right here is going to be pointed towards the back upward kind of like upward towards the back so like that 
Oh, that's the only thing. You can flip this thing out if you want to. I think it's meant more for the combined mode. You can flip it out and put it in right here if you want to, or you can just like leave it and wait till the combined mode to put it down. But I just bring it down right now. So bring that in. It's going to peg into the little same thing on this side, the little indentation right there. So same thing. All right, other leg, same exact thing as the other one. So up, unpeg, bring it down, lined up, rotation on hinge, peg in, like that, unravel the leg, like so, tie in portions, gonna face backwards, and pretty much then you tab the legs together. Oh, almost done. Take the uh, melee weapons. Camera down. Then you just plug them in. That. You have one up and down. You have them up like that. You have them pointed down like I just got them right now. It's up to you what you want to do. And position the head. The heads however you like and there you have it it is center twin in his twin headed dragon mode and i must say he does look nice very very nice uh he has a few issues that i, I kind of probably want to point out real quick um just you probably can see that the the heads are just on ball joints they don't really peg into the body no no way no how which is kind of good for you want to get articulation out of your heads and have them in kinds of different poses and stuff they operate independently and stuff like that but it kind of sucks because it's kind of it's really fiddly that the ball joints are not really that tight and you, you hit the slightest touch would knock it loose and doing all kinds of crazy things i mean like like this way you really can't notice that the other head is not probably resting against the the body you know but that looks cool at that angle but i mean i kind of wish they did have something to, to peg it make it more secure especially um when it's sitting on his back in robot mode but yeah the um it looks nice nice looking dragon um body looks kind of long i don't know maybe just me it's just my personal preference i guess but other than that it looks great. I know some people are gonna have a problem with these hollow back legs and stuff, but but other than that, it looks a like a fine, fine figure. I want the tail have more articulation. It's that soft rubber though, but nice detail. And as far as articulation goes, like I said, the head is on his on ball joint, so you can get all kinds of range of motion out of them. Um, there's one point in the neck, or two points in the neck, that they has ball joints right here below the head, and right here in the mid neck, you got ball joint right there, so you can get it in the kind of crazy ways and articulation poses. Um, the jaws do move up and down. It has nice paint on the eyes, red, some silver right there on the cheeks. Articulated jaw up and open and closes. And the toes to go forward and back on the ball joint. Oh, legs, four legs go around 360. You got this elbow right here. It rotates at the the bicep. And on the back legs do have uh, forward and back. Do move all kinds of ways in this joint right here, right here, right here. The toes just go forward and back. And the tail just moves side to side. You can flip it upside down if you want to get a different type of tail look for him. Um, there is no um, body rotation, side to side motion, but do twist if you want to get in some kind of weird way or something like that. I don't know. It's up to you. Whatever your preference is, you probably be able to get some kind of good articulated move out of him. And here's a beast mode comparison with Ripper Snapper. Let's see if we can fit and block right here too. Let's see. Uh, 
Yeah, they look look like Vincent. Oh my goodness. Yeah. I think the land shark guy should be a little bit shorter than him, but hey. You guys look great together. Can't wait to get the whole team going. Almost there. Two more to go. All right, now we're going to go ahead and get into the leg configuration of this guy. Let's go ahead and put our, our leg back together. Peg right here. Peg that together. Now, slide that, slide that in. Back together. All right, get the leg configuration. Go ahead and unplug these from the back. Go ahead and transform your leg back to the way it was when it came out the back of the leg. Like that, flip, flip. And the leg way, you can do it two, either way you want. I mean, uh, two different ways you can do it. It's up to you. Let's say first we're gonna rotate this around back to the way the robot mode was. We're gonna bring the these heads on the ball joint and put them to the back for right now, out the way. And the configuration for the leg, you can for the bottom half, you can. The instructions tell you to rotate these back like so. They want you to rotate them back like this. But or but what I do, I just leave it up front like like so, and just get this little notch right here. And if you rotate it, the leg, it should catch at a point. Yeah, right here. It's a little notch cut right here, where this portion will should catch at. You can leave it pegged in forward like this. So I prefer to do it like this. So like so, what you're gonna do? You're gonna tab the back. This back upper back section right here untab that from these two tabs rotate this down and get out the way for right now next what you're going to do you're going to bring these paws like so and bring them or uh, rotate them around then you're going to bring them down like this up for up front Then you're going to bend the elbow, bring it up like this, and you're going to rotate it to the side like that. So the other side, elbow like that. Then you're going to unpeg the the butterfly shoulder that I showed you like that. Then you're going to just push push right here. It's going to rotate down, and you got this tab right here with a shoulder head pegged into, rotate this down and you're gonna peg it in like so. Next, what you're going to do rotate is the arm like that. And you're gonna make sure that this is flush down like that. Next, what you're gonna do, print what the instructions do not show you, you're going to rotate this Make sure these heads are down. And you're going to, there's a peg right here, a black peg right there. And there's a hole on the, his butt, which is this is going to peg into. It's going to add stability to the cabana right there to make this like a more solid leg. So this cannot rotate at all at the waist. So the waist is locked. And what you're going to do is going to. It's kind of lazy, but this is how the instructions tell you to do it. So you're just gonna bring his arms down to add some kind of pressure on that right there. And that's that right there. So the, the head's just this lane, this lay here in the back, which is kind of crazy. So yeah, same thing on the other side. Unpeg that, rotate this down, or at the same time, rotate this arm up. Oh, they rotate the wrong way. Rotate like that. Pick it into the back. Like so. And like I said, you this trust and fish will tell you to bring these pieces around like this, and the head is supposed to lay against 
the leg and stuff, which is kind of weird. So there's not really that much clearance back here for that to even, it doesn't lock in or nothing when you, you do it like this. It's, I don't understand why they did. That's why I say that I guess the leg mode is kind of like the weakest because it seems like it's the most laziest leg mode to have. And besides, you got the leg mode like this, then just uh, you have no saddlebags right here. On um, Troll, he has these right there. So the, to make it more asymmetrical, you probably want to leave that right there. That's why, that's why I'm leaving mine like this. And they also got the little grooves cut out right there anyway. So I don't know why they gave you the, the other option and the, the instructions for that. When you just leave it like this, and it'll be much better for a leg mode, be more matching. I guess they don't want the, the thighs, the legs, the ankles touching each other, I guess. So, yeah, so bring it down like that. Just find some place to slot these heads in, at, or you can just rotate the heads around. Have it like that. Get it out the way. It's just lazy leg mode, man. Right? Especially with these heads. What's some way that you can pick them together or something like that, lock them in together? They just flop. That's my biggest complaint about this, just that. The lack of what they did with the heads to make it make them cohesive same thing with these arms right here they kind of stay together because of friction because the joints are kind of tight but if they were, joints weren't tight they'd be all the place too which is some place that they to tab them in to make them lock down locking down things is good people i don't know why you didn't do that so yeah then next thing you know you just split down right here split this tabs on the side right here they tab in right there like so and you just put them together and you got all the gang and you got leg mode leg mode leg mode now there's no place to put these at that I know of you could put them at the side but then you got things to stick on the side or you can put it right here then you got other kinds of problems going on right there. So yeah, leg mode, same thing as with troll. You got it tilts at the foot, the toe, and it can go side to side, but very limited. Right? But you got all this extra stuff right here. So it's gonna be interesting to see how all the, the weight is on this distributed. But I wish there was something that could fill this gap in. There's a big old gap right here. I guess you really don't notice it that bad. How's it look to y'all? Look that bad? Can you see it? I don't know. So it don't look that bad. All right, let's go ahead and get back to roller mode real quick. Get that out. Untap this. It's going to come out. Come out, damn you. There we go. All right. Go ahead and tap these arms. Rotate them back up. Rotate them forward. Untap. Up. Rotate it forward. Unpick this. Go back into his back. Like so. Oop. Bring the legs out right here. Pulling them back up, tap them into the knee. And you want to, it's kind of weird, tricky. There you go. Bring that in, it just falls right. It doesn't tap in nowhere, it just falls right into the slot on the leg. All right, heel spur, foot. And it's kind of a tight joint. Come on. Come to Papa. Jeez. There we go. Little spur. Go ahead and get this one out right now. Bring this out like so. Bring that forward. Tab in the knee. And bring this down into this space. Go like that. The arms, bring these around, back, open the panel, put the hands back out, close that, rotate it 
take the arm around. Same thing other side. Open. Right, that. Rotate. Close panel. Up periscope. Bring these down. Open up his chest. And back into robot mode. There he goes. So yeah. Uh, he's a nice figure without his flaws. Uh, he's nice coloring, nice paint detail, good articulation. But some of the design things are just kind of lazy to me. Um, which these could, like I said, this could put together or something to make them more cohesive. And it's a backpack, everything like that. So um, yeah, besides that, he's a, he's an okay figure. Like I said, the wild wow factor of the the, the trend of the um, designs. The mesh is at the, as each figure goes along, so hopefully they'll pick it back up with the next, the last two figures. So yeah, this um, uh, this been JG there, man. I do give this a, a get. Um, if you're a fan of River of uh, Center Twin, get it for a standalone figure. If you're just a fan of the uh, Terry you gotta get him. If you want another leg and stuff, so so yeah, man, he's a good figure. Um. Am I saying he's worth the money? Maybe not. Not worth the price tag. Should have been a little bit lower in price due to the same like um design wise and stuff. I mean, I don't know what the parts count is. No prices depend on parts count, but I don't know. Don't seem worth the price to me. But he's a good figure. Alright, y'all, this has been JG there. Thank y'all for watching. Stay tuned for more reviews. Uh, make sure you comment below and give feedback on the video.